The starting point of my practical process um, begins by exploring the urban space. I spend a lot of time at car junkyards, taking pictures of metal and car scrap in order to use them as subjects for my paintings. I started to work with broken machines rather than complete ones after reading the book Crash from James Graham Bonnard. And the novel tells about a group of people who gain sexual pleasure while participating in car accidents. It examines changes in the human psyche caused by modern technology and consumer culture. The surfaces of my paintings, however, show cracks and scratches. They look as if they've been deformed and destroyed in a dreadful accident, like the smashed cars in Ballard's setting. There is no much left of the original clearness and even beauty, which makes me rethink the utopian imagination of technology as the human saver. My aim is to create the biggest possible variety within the textures I'm producing, um, to highlight the differences between metal and non-metal surfaces in my work, I try to create contrasts between them. Therefore I'm always exploring and looking for new textures and new materials to create this variety of appearances. Um, the wall gives the viewer directly an information and that makes the painting incredibly boring. I suppose the reason why it gets boring is that it gives the viewer little space for interpretation. Whereas showing detailed shots of something bigger allows the painting to shift away from its original subject matter. It's like as if each painting were a microscope slide. There is an active sense of me as an artist crafting focus on what excites me.